In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to use the cross product to find the area of a triangle. The question reads, find the area of a triangle with the vertices P, Q, and R. And as you can see right underneath, I've plotted these points already, and I've taken the courtesy to connect these points with lines. So I have a line extending from point P to R, P to Q, and R to Q. Now in our previous video, we learned that if you take the cross product of two vectors, you end up with a third vector that is perpendicular to the two vectors that you're finding the cross product of. What's also interesting about that vector is that if you find its length, it actually gives you the area of the parallelogram that the two vectors make in 3D space. Now if you find that confusing, I want to show you a few illustrations. So this is the definition that we know already about the cross product, that it equals to a vector that is perpendicular to the two vectors it represents. Notice this is perpendicular to these two. But if we look at this further, and say that this vector represents the base here, B represents the slant height, we can easily find the area of this parallelogram by taking the base length, which is technically the magnitude of vector A, times this length, which can be found using the trigonometric function sine. And that's represented as the magnitude of vector B times sine theta. Now the reason why we're concerned about parallelograms is because the area of a parallelogram is twice that of a triangle. Think about it. We can split this parallelogram into two triangles. So by finding the length of the cross product, we actually found the area of the parallelogram. And if we want, in our case, a triangle, we simply divide that by two. And of course, we can represent the cross product using this new formula if you need to. Now let's put this to action with our example. The first thing that I want to do is find the vector that represents p to q and a vector that represents p to r. To find a vector that represents p to q, I'll write down p, q, and that has an x, y, and z component. We can find the x, y, and z component by taking the differences of the coordinates. So 1 minus negative 2, that's positive 3. 4 minus 5, that's negative 1. And 6 minus minus 1 is positive 7. Next, I'll find the x, y, and z components of p to r. Doing the same thing, 1 minus 1 is 0. 4 minus negative 1 is positive 5. And 6 minus 1 is positive 5 as well. We can find the cross product of these two vectors using this little trick that you picked up from the previous video, where you rewrite this twice. So 3 minus 1, 7, 3 minus 1, 7, 0, 5, 5, 0, 5, 5. Remember this pattern. You multiply these out like this. So take, for example, that first cross. Minus 1 times 5 is negative 5. Minus 7 times 5, 35. This is equal to negative 40. And that actually represents the x component of the cross product. So we have the cross product of p, q, times PR. Another word for cross product is vector product. So in case you aren't familiar with cross product, it's also referred to as that. To find the Y component, 7 times 0 is nothing, minus 5 times 3, that's negative 15. And over here, 3 times 5 is 15, minus 0 is positive 15. We can find the length of this by using the distance formula, because by finding the length, they're actually finding the area of the parallelogram in which it makes up. Of course, once we do that, we'll divide it by 2 because we want the area of the triangle only. Let's go ahead and find the distance. We have negative 40 raised to the power of 2 plus negative 15 raised to the power of 2 plus 15 raised to the power of 2, all square rooted. This will give us the area of the parallelogram. Let's use our calculator. The square root of negative 40 raised to the power of 2 plus negative 15 raised to the power of 2 plus 15 raised to the power of 2. That gives us 5 times the square root of 82. And if we divide that by 2, we end up with 5 over 2 times the square root of 82. And that is the area of this shaded region. So as a conclusion, the length of the cross product A times B is equal to the area of the parallelogram determined by A and B. 
there you have it. That is how to use the cross product to find the area of a triangle.